Why would he know anything about Lucy's murder weapon? It... Bobby's admitted to killing your daughter, Mr. Beale. Oh, yes, but he only did that because he was distressed. And where's Sharon? Why don't we go back into the interview room? Bobby. Uh, Mr. Beale, thank you. Oh, Richie, please, just do something. He is a child. Whatever he may have... He is still just a child. OK, OK, let's take a seat, shall we? You listen to me. I'm doing this. I'm talking for him. Fine. OK. You have a statement to make, Mr Bain. I want your records. Whatever you've got, delete it. Do you understand me? You've got no right to put words into a child's mouth. We are as shocked as you are. He's been involved in an accident, OK? A, a, a terrible, tragic... And you're trying to frame him? Have you got any idea how immoral that is? Mr Beale, that's a very serious accusation. Jane's welfare, how she is, that should be the only thing on her own son's mind. Dad! You've come this far. Feels right. Getting off your chest. Bobby, can you tell us where Lucy's murder weapon is? Yes. Bobby hasn't implicated anyone else. All Max's team's got to do is look at the jury and the old finger lapses. He said he was going to be OK. I had to make this stupid statement. I, I don't get it, Phil. I just don't get it. I mean, all the effort, I mean, we tried so hard to protect him. I mean, it, it, on top of everything today, he goes and brings up about Lucy. I mean, it's like he wants to be punished. I mean, do you think he's ill? Mentally? Ill? Sharon said that he beat China, of hockey stuff. He, he gets angry sometimes. And you had another trying to protect him. Yeah. We don't do him any favours, you know. Pretending that everything's perfect. I mean, doing this, it would have freaked him out, wouldn't it? I mean, this is his mum, and he's lost it again with his own mum. He do not even know if she's going to live or, or die. You okay? Yeah. Have they charged you? What are you charging him with? Cars on Dobby Ellis. No? Bailed, pending a charge for Lucy's murder. What? Just get us out of here. Where? I don't care! Enough about Come, mate. Let's go. Yeah. I thought he didn't want to be at the hospital. I know Jane's not awake, but I thought he'd have wanted to be with I don't even think he knows. Look, Ian ain't thinking clear, Sharon. Bobby kept the jewellery box he hit Lucy with. In his school locker. No. Gives Keebler and her mate an easy day's work, doesn't it? Even Richie can't see a way around now. Yeah, that kid might as well have written his own prison sentence. Is mum going to be all right? Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be fine. I mean, you know what your mum's like. She'll just bounce back like a rubber ball, won't she? I expect she'll be home soon, putting on a dinner, picking you up, doing your washing, bending over backwards to sort you out. Dad, I never meant it to happen. Bobby, we have given you everything. Everything. I mean, what more could you want? I was angry. Angry? <laughs> 
Don't you dare! You, you do not even know the meaning in a word. I mean, what have you got to be angry about? A school? A school, Bobby? I don't know. Your mum is lying in a coma in a hospital. She could die. And we're here, Jane. She could already be dead. I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't know why I'm wasting more time on you. I mean, what happened to you? I don't know. You're our son, yeah? Our job as a parent is to protect you and keep you safe. That's why we did all those things, yeah? Protecting other people from you. Protecting you from yourself. I don't know who you are anymore. Dad. The guilt I feel, you, you couldn't fit into this room. This is what you did, Bobby. This is what you did to your mum. I, I know it's a, a terrible thing. I don't know how I feel about you. I know you, you're still always loving, but love that's not enough. This isn't just about us. We, we can't fix him. I had to tell the truth. Tell the truth, Mum. I'm not a baby anymore. I've got to step up. You say tell the truth. But we never. And now look. It was me. I hurt Lucy. Me. And I've hurt you. I don't know why. I don't know what else to do except tell the truth and ask them to help me to make me stop doing it because I love you, Mum. I do. I do, Dad. Move. You might be our brother, but that is just rude. Oh, Christine. Oh, look at her. How could you let this happen? And how the hell are we finding this out from a phone call from Denise? Yeah? She's had a few things going on, mate. I knew. I warned her about you. Oh, Linda, please. Get out. Boy, there's no need for that. We spoke to the consultant. They don't know if Jane will ever walk again. No. And you, you did that. This is all your fault, you useless, sniveling excuse for a man. That evil child. Your woeful parenting. How many times are you going to hurt my daughter? I swear. You don't get out. Stay away. I will swing for you here, Bill. You leave and you don't come back! 